I have a couple questions for you today. Are you finding it hard to stay on track? Are you eating but still not feeling full or satisfied? Are you skipping workouts or maybe not working out at all because you can't find the time to fit it in with your busy schedule? These are questions I get all the time from women across the globe. They're like, Laura, I don't know what to eat anymore, how to eat, when to eat, can you help me? And the answer is yes. I created the 30 day Hot Body Express accountability challenge to cover all these questions and all these concerns. This is a place where you're gonna find an amazing tribe of women who are working together to support and motivate each other on this journey of health and wellness. And I am with you every step of the way. So I'm Laura London. I am a nationally certified personal trainer. I am a holistic health coach. I specialize in women's weight loss and hormones and getting inflammation out of the body. I've studied, gosh, over a hundred dietary theories. I'm certified also as a raw food chef. I've studied reflexology. I just love studying and learning, but it has taken me a long time to get where I am today. When I first started out, I was a mom. I found myself in my late thirties with three small children um, out of shape, 30 pounds heavy, heavier than I am now, hormones out of control, and sugar was my BFF. And I woke up one day and I'm like, you know what? This is not how I want the rest of my life to be. This is not how I want to feel anymore. So I decided to make a change. And that change has been an amazing journey of self-discovery, of weight loss, of personal growth, and I've put it all together in my 30-Day Hot Body Express Accountability Challenge so you don't have to do all the research. We're, we're going to do it together. So thank you for your feedback on the survey that I sent out. Based on the results, you are all really interested in meal planning and how to eat healthy. So that's something that we I address in the 30 day accountability challenge. So today I wanna to share with you my seven top tips to help you start eating better today, eating healthier. So my number one tip, this is, you know, if I could only give you one, this would be the number one tip, would be to start adding in green smoothies to your diet. If you look at any diet out there, any plan, the one thing they all have in common is increasing the amount of fruit and vegetables that you're eating. So green smoothies are the most simple way to get that done. And I, even if you've never had a green smoothie before or, or you drink green smoothies every day, this is the thing to do consistently. So my, my second tip is when you're eating a meal, a lot of people will eat until they are feeling stuffed. Do you ever have that feeling you're like stuffed, you can't eat anymore, and then you don't feel good because you ate too much. So what I teach people is to eat until they're just about full because it takes your stomach and your brain a little while to get the connection that you've actually eaten enough. But if you learn how to do this, Oh my gosh, it's amazing. You're gonna feel lighter. You're gonna feel so much better after you eat. So another tip, and this is huge, is to eat consistently throughout the day. Do you skip meals? Do you save your calories for later? That doesn't work. It always, always backfires. We need to keep our blood sugar stable, never letting our bodies get too hungry because that's when we'll spiral out of control and we'll just reach for whatever is around us. And usually it's either sugar, 
something salty or something loaded with caffeine and fat. So eating consistently throughout the day and planning, 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 planning is key. Another thing is drinking water. And I know you hear that all the time, you know, drink more water, drink more water. Well, there's so many ways to get more water into your body. Say you don't like drinking water. I have all sorts of different ways that I teach you to add more water into your diet. You can eat foods such as fruit and vegetables that have high water content in them or have all sorts of hydration creations that I love sharing. Oh my gosh, those are the best. So another thing you can do, and this is really, really important, is start to change your relationship with food. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's see. When we eat, we can either eat in, uh, with pleasure or we can eat in a stressed mode. And I'm gonna give you an example of this. And I always use chocolate cake because I like chocolate cake. Chocolate is a food group now. <laughs> um, if I take a piece of chocolate cake and I look at it and I say, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be eating this chocolate cake. It's bad for me. I'm gonna get fat. It's gonna go right to my hips. You are putting your body in a state of stress by the way you're speaking. Can you feel that? So your body, does, your body knows what stress is, but it doesn't know how to differentiate um, stress from traffic where you're stressed out and you're angry or from these negative thoughts that you're thinking. So those negative thoughts about the cake or the traffic are going to cause the same thing to happen in your body. It's going to shut down your digestion because we're, when we're in a state of stress, the body, all it needs to, all it thinks is, gosh, I got to get out of this stress. I've got to get away really, really fast. So it goes back to like when we were cavemen and cave women, and this is still the same body's response to stress is to su shut down digestion, save energy so I can run really fast if I'm being chased by a tiger. So do you understand? It doesn't really understand the different types of stresses that we are, um, See, that we go through every day. So if I took that same piece of chocolate cake and I said, you know what? I really love chocolate cake. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to savor it. Your whole body is relaxed. You're not in a state of stress anymore. So I like people to make this, this mind connection when they're eating food because our thoughts really, really affect digestion. Digestion doesn't start in the stomach. It doesn't start in the mouth. It actually starts in our mind. So my last tip is number seven is to be your body's BFF. And what does that mean? Be your own body's best friend. So you are always going to be you. No matter if you're 100 pounds overweight, 50 pounds overweight, or at your ideal weight, you are always going to be you. And what I see is, you know, women postponing, postponing joy. Well, they'll say, when I lose this weight, then I'm going to go buy a new dress or when I lose this weight, I'm going to have a, uh, a boyfriend or significant other or go out on a, a date with my husband. And you know what? Don't do that. Don't do that. Live here now today. Learn to love your body today. No, no matter what shape, what size, because you are you and you're always going to be you and you are amazing and beautiful and you have so many gifts to share with the world. So go love yourself. Look at yourself square eye to eye in the mirror and go tell yourself how much you love yourself. Some, some people will find that very hard to do and I'm going to teach you how to do it with love. 
Okay, so some of people will say, Laura, I just don't have time to exercise. Well, I'm gonna show you ways that you can get fitness in, whether it be in the gym or at home, that aren't gonna, you're not gonna have to spend hours to get the results you're looking for. It's not necessary. I'm gonna teach you my, my tips and my tricks and my tools of how I keep in shape. Um, a lot of people say, Laura, I don't know where to start. Where, I, I'm like so confused. Where do I start? Don't worry. I've got you covered because I have all sorts of meal plans and I lay everything out for you and take out all that guesswork. I'm not going to make you... Um, eat food that you don't like. You know, a lot of, you, you might see meal plans and you have to eat this for breakfast, this for lunch, this for dinner. No, I'm gonna teach you how to eat what you like for your own lifestyle. Everybody is different, every body is different, and we all need to eat food that we enjoy. Otherwise, it's just a diet. And this, what I teach everybody, is a lifestyle. Uh, there is no quick fix. But with consistency and with education and with learning how to love yourself, you can do anything. I know it. I've done it. And I'm going to teach you how to do it, too. So... I'm going to be uh, making a couple more videos for you guys and on the next video I'm going to be talking about tips that you can start implementing today that are going to have a huge impact on your health. So today we talked about seven tips that um, to start eating healthier and I hope you enjoyed them. I would love to hear your comments and any questions you might have um, about doing the, the program, anything about eating, exercise. I just love to hear from you. I love to answer your questions. And if you have a question, trust me, there are more women out there who are having the same exact question. So please leave a comment below and I will see you on the next video. Have a fit and fabulous day.